In this video, I am going to explain anatomy of carpal bones. Carpal bones are bones around wrist joint. So this part is wrist joints. Because there is a disjoint, you can move wrist like this, okay? And there are eight carpal bones in wrist. But before I'm going to jump into carpal bones, I'd like to explain these two bones. This is radius and this is ulna. Radius and ulna. Radius is on thumb side. Ulna is on pinky side. By the way, this is the left hand and this is the palm side. So you are looking the hand like this. My left hand, so this is thumb side and this is pinky side. And this is the palm area, okay? Radius, ulna, radius is on thumb side. Ulna is on pinky side, okay? Then there are eight bones in wrist. There are four bones and kind of in the first row. And there are four bones in kind of a second row. I'm going to explain the first four bones, okay? This one, this is the scaphoid. It's very close to radius. This is scaphoid and also some anatomy books say this bone as navicular. I'd like to say this name as navicular in this video. Of course, you can say scaphoid. And this bone is lunate, lunate, because its shape is like the moon, you know, luna, lunate, okay? Navicular and lunate. And it's a little bit hard to see from the front view. This is triquetrum, triquetrum. Or some books say this is triangular bone. Either way, people will understand. In this video, I will call this bone as triquetrum. And it's kind of in front of triquetrum on top of this bone. This bone is pisiform. Pisiform is the right here. It's a kind of the base of pinky side. You can palpate this bone. It's very obvious. And this is pisiform. Okay, first row, navicular, lunate, triquetrum, Pisiform, okay? Navicular or scaphoid, lunate, triquetrum or triangular bone, and pisiform, okay? Then I'm going to talk about second row. And this one, this thumb side, remember this is left hand, thumb side? This is trapezium. Then next to trapezium, this is trapezoid. Oh my gosh, this is very confusing. This is trapezium. This is trapezoid. Which one is which? Okay, easy to remember. Trapezium has articulation with thumb. Okay, trapezium, thumb. This joint in between trapezium and the first metacarpal bone is very, very important. I'm going to come back later. Okay, then this is trapezoid. Trapezium, trapezoid. Easy, okay? Then this one is the capitate. Capitate, because this shape is like head. You know, cap means head. Then this one is hamate. Hamate means the hook. You see there is a kind of the hook shape in hamate, right? That's why this bone is hamate. Trapezium, trapezium, thumb side. Trapezoid, capitate, the shape is like head, and hamate because hamid has the hook shape. Okay, review of the eight bones, navicular or scaphoid, lunate, triquetrum or triangular bone, pisiform, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, and hamid. Now let's talk about this joint. This joint is made by trapezium and first metacarpal bone. This joint is very, very important. Why? Because we have this joint, we can move thumb like this, okay? This movement. This movement is freaking important to grab something, okay? Because we have this movement, we can grab something. Let's say like, I can grab this bony model. If I don't use thumb to grab, it's, it's kind of very hard to grab and move. Yes, I can grab, but I cannot as much as if I used the thumb. You know, this is much different, right? This versus this. 
much different. Or try to grab your coffee cup or your cell phone without using thumb. It's very difficult. Say this is the cell phone, it's very hard to stabilize, okay? Or if you can't use thumb, you can't do this movement, it's very hard to write, you know, because I'm using thumb to grab and write. That's why this joint is crucial to use hands. I think this joint is the key joint to grab something, to have evolution as human being. So this is very important to grab and write and anything for using the fingers and hands. Okay, this joint, crucial. So in this video, I explained eight bones in wrist, okay? The four bones in the first row and four bones in second row. And this joint in between trapezium and first metacarpal is freaking important. So I hope this video helps your understanding of anatomy of carpal bone. Yes, there are a lot of bones in wrist. I hope this video made it simple. If you liked today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.